Radio is back at Ryerson in the Student Center. Volunteer coordinator Emily Joveski tells Ryersonian TV about the Scope's new studio. So we've been really busy all summer setting up our new space for volunteers. And basically we have uh, a live performance space that we're going to be setting up as well as obviously a broadcasting studio. And we're really just excited to have a presence on Ryerson for radio again. The kinds of programming that we want to offer is really going to be reflective of the kind of programming that students and the community want to provide and want to listen to. So if someone comes to us and says, I want to show, do a show about food or I want to do a show about, you know, politics, we can help make that happen for them. Ryerson has not had a radio station since CKLN was shut down in 2011. So we are a completely different radio station. We're a completely different organization. Um, we're not associated with the old radio station at all. I think some of the problems were that it wasn't very accessible for students, among other things. So we want to really make sure that it's a very open, positive space where students can come, get experience, do radio, um, and just have fun and get their voice out into the community and on their campus. Ryerson lost its FM dial, but the scope has other plans. We're very hopeful for AM because it is really good for a not-for-profit station. It's less commercially viable. We just think it's really important that students have the opportunity to be broadcasting like on the dial, and part of being a legitimate radio station is having the frequency. The Scope is hoping to get their AM license later this year, but until then, you can listen to them live at thescope at ryerson.ca. This is Anam Latif, and you're watching Ryersonian TV.